Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying your weekend. Uh, liquid loans are sacrifice phase at this time. What we'll be excited about, right? And uh, um, was waiting for them to start their sacrifice phase. Uh, now, what's so significant about liquid loans? Uh, if you're part, if you're in the post chain ecosystem, is liquid loans is going to allow you to borrow against your post coins, which will allow you to not have to sell them. And by not having to sell them, uh, you're basically in some jurisdictions going to be able to avoid a capital gains tax, right? Um, as loans aren't technically selling, right? Of course, you need to check with your local tax offices and municipalities, but that is the case in some areas. But I think the the overall best thing about uh, this uh, liquid loans allowing you not to have to sell is the idea that it can drive up the value of posts. If nobody's selling posts, then the price can't go down, right? Everybody's holding it. Uh, and that is a very, very positive for post holders. Um, now, uh, you can only sacrifice stable coins, right? That's because this is going to be a loan. Uh, it's going to be need to be backed, you know, by something that is, uh, stable, right? So obviously they can't have the price going all over the place. So you will have to use a stable coin in order for you to be able to participate in this sacrifice. Uh, now, before I get into just the idea of me being positive about it and, uh, uh, you know, I think it's going to be do great and, you know, people are going to do well with this. Before I go down that route, I want to always give a full disclaimer. But before I do that, I'm going to let Richard Hart himself give it about his opinions about uh, certain projects, even liquid loans, hear his thoughts about it, and then we'll continue on with the video. Here's the thing, right? I hope it's awesome, but it could suck. And usually, a priori means like before the fact. It's just safer to assume things are going to suck. So anytime anyone has ever targeted hexagons with any type of coin, the hexagons have always gotten murdered. Hex... H X Y business or these you know hourglass games or just all garbage like people target hexagons with crap that harms them and I just don't I mean can you imagine how much trash is going to come out when Pulse Chain comes out there's going to be a million rug pulls and scams and garbage and trash that gets launched on it just like there was on Ethereum just like there was on BSC so, I only say nice things about stuff I 100% know is good. Period. So, oh, you have an idea? All right, where's the code? Where's the audits? Where's the no admin keys? Show me. And I don't have time to do that. And usually, all of those things they don't have, they usually just suck. All right, so that was Richard's view on liquid loans. <laughs> uh, I think Richard Hart does a, a great job uh, for disclaimers. Maybe I should just play that clip on every time I do a video uh, pertaining to the post chain or projects on post. <laughs> so listen, Richard's a very smart person. He is the founder of these projects, right? And uh, definitely what he says should be taken into consideration. I'll consider everything he said in relation to liquid loans, right? Uh, now, although I might be somewhat optimistic about liquid loans, uh, that doesn't mean it's going to do well, right? In fact, uh, a lot of cryptocurrency has been projects that are the best ideas don't always do good, right? Meme coins do well, but not projects that are very very good good causes make a lot of sense on paper don't always do good right so 
Although I like liquid loans, that doesn't mean it's going to do well, right? So we now that we got that part out of the way, uh, let's let let me just talk about what I do like about liquid loans. You know, as I explained uh, before, we showed the clip. Uh, you know, liquid loans being used to stop the selling of posts, and you think that's a good thing, um, but you know, it's a good idea. In practice, we'll see how it does. But um, the general idea of what you're going to be able to do with the loan token, which, you, which is what you should receive in the sacrifice, provided they're nice enough to send it to you after you make your sacrifice, um, is to be able to stake it. And you're going to be able to earn both their stable coin, which is backed up by other stable coins and, and pulse and pulse, right? So you're going to earn... Uh, interest on that right and you're going to share in the pool of the fees uh that are made on the loans that i believe a lot of post users are going to be participating in because i think it's just going to make it's just too many advantages with it right for them to not do it so there's going to be a lot of people doing it i, I believe that is my belief uh so that means there are going to be fees collected on this now the, the question then becomes, well, is it just about fees then? And is it just about staking rewards and, and so on and so forth? Well, there's going to be some bonus multipliers, of course, depending on how long you stake, kind of similar to the early days of Hex. But also uh, what, what's going to be going on with this thing um, is uh, in comparison to other projects that this is forked off of, like liquidity, uh, and so on and so forth, those projects. I, I found some interesting data that I think about the first two weeks, I'm not sure if it was liquidity, it might have been another fork of liquidity, but within the first two weeks, it went up 86 times, right? So this could be an interesting project. I think also I'm just ready to see projects that actually do something, right? You know, uh, that have something mechanics in it that I think people are going to use, right? And although Hex uh, did very, very well, you know, at the end of the day, Hex works more like a store of value. Does that mean that Hex is done going up in the value? No, it doesn't mean that at all. Bitcoin continues to go up. But even though Bitcoin does well, I kind of look at Hex as the Bitcoin version on post, right? The version of Bitcoin on post. Because Bitcoin doesn't really do anything. We don't build anything on it. It serves as a store value. And that's what Hex does. But it's just something that is refreshing to see something mechanical, uh, you know, decentralized finance in this way, uh, social networks like we get with BBD coin. And although I don't like NFTs, that's another project that's come out, Mentra, I think they've done very well in their sacrifice as well, right? But we should listen to Richard Hart. Right. Uh, these things don't have to go the way we think they should go just because we have we think it's a good idea, have uh, good ideas about it or good intentions about it, or even the founders have good intentions about it. Uh, we've seen many of these projects fail. Also, keep in mind, not a great deal of creativity. These are just forks of other projects. So we had to keep all that in mind. Right. So very excited about it, though. Um, this it will explain how you stake. Remember, you have you can only use stable coins, right? Because it's going to be backed up by stable coins. It has to be stable. It can't be all over the place. And these little decimals indicate how long you want to stake to get these bigger bonuses and paydays, right? Um, so, so far, so good. I think they've already raised millions of dollars. I can't see the calculator that's showing what they've raised, but I believe they have... Uh, a site out where they are doing that and showing that. And if I get access to it, find out what it is, I will be more happy to put it as an in the description. But that's all I want to say about liquid loans. Everything looking good so far. You can get 5% increase um, in the supply if you use my referral link. So you get 5% extra on your I also get 5%. So make sure that you, uh, uh, in order to thank me for bringing you this great video about liquid loans, make sure that you, uh, uh, when you sacrifice, that you use my link so we can both get those additional earnings. Very much appreciate it.
But before I get out of here, as Richard Hart talked about this num the number of scams and rug pulls, pulls that could come out, and he doesn't seem to be very favorable about any of these projects. <laughs> and I can't say I don't blame him, right? He doesn't seem very positive about liquid loans. He doesn't like NFTs like what Mitra's doing. I don't like NFTs either, but I do understand a lot of people in the space like, I mean, there's just so much money going through there. Hard to ignore that and deny that. That's just the way it is. But who wants to pay millions of dollars for a JPEG image on a blockchain that looks crazy uh, and dumb and stupid and it's like air in a bottle or something, right? Not me. Uh, I don't know. But anyway, I'm not a fan. I'm like Richard Hart. Liquid loans, I have a difference of opinion about liquid loans, but Richard makes some great points about can we trust the team? Can we even trust the execution of their plan? Um, and at in the end of the day, will it just be a good or bad project, right? Maybe it'll be a project with good intentions, but it won't effectively be a good project for use. Because what Richard Hart's saying at the end of the day is that everything we're trying to do, whether you're getting staking rewards, you're already doing that with Hex, you already got the decentralized exchange, you already got the um, the uh, blockchain itself, coin, you got the incentive token that we still don't know exactly what that's going to do. But my guess is it's going to be the meme coin of uh, the post chain to kind of cover that aspect of all that money going into meme coins, right? Like Dogecoin or something, right? So those are my uh, my opinion about it. Those are my guesses about it. Um, and so I don't think Richard Hart really is interested in a lot of more of projects coming in that are already doing the same thing. And I have to say, I kind of do agree with him that at the end of the day, we are just staking these things. Where's the real substance? Maybe there is one Richard has a commented on that he may like. And let's take a look at what that may be.